Hello world, this is Siraj. Welcome to this channel. This is the lesson number one of Microsoft Excel 2019 training. In this lesson, we are going to discuss the introduction of Microsoft Excel 2019. And let's see how we can start Excel 2019. And we are going to discuss the start screen, ribbon, quick access toolbar, backstage view, and the interface of Microsoft Excel 2019. Microsoft Excel is a spreadsheet program that allows you to store, organize, and analyze the information. If you have set up data, you can convert that data into information. In Microsoft Excel 2019, you can keep your budgets, or you can organize your training log, or you can create an invoice, or you can manage your accounting work, or you can manage your other personal data as well. Microsoft Excel 2019 makes it easy to work with the different types of data. To start Microsoft Excel 2019, you can go to the Start menu and you can click on this Excel. Otherwise, you can click on the alphabetic letter and you can click on the E and you can click on this Excel applications. Otherwise, you can right click and you can click on this pin to start. Then this particular application will be pinned on the start screen. And next time you can click on this Excel application tiles and you can open this. But also, you can right click. And you can click on this more and here we have pin to taskbar and you can click on this pin to taskbar and here you can see the application is pinned on this taskbar and also you can see this uh, shortcut of this Microsoft Excel application you can double click here and you can open it once you open Microsoft Excel 2019 here you can see the start screen here we have three groups home new and open we click on the home and let's see a couple of controls and here we have the blank workbook we can start a blank workbook in Microsoft Excel. Otherwise, we can start from this template. And here we have recent documents. Here you can click on any part of this workbook to open this workbook. Otherwise, you can click on this pin. Here we have pin documents that I have pinned for easy access. If you want to pin a workbook, we can click on this reason. And here we have the push pin icon. You can click on this push pin icon. For example, if I need this SEUES 17MG workbook, and I can click on this push pin icon, then this particular workbook will be pinned under this pin document. Here we can see SEUES 17MG pin. If you don't want this workbook under this pinned item, you can click on this push pin icon again, then that will be removed. And here we have new, you can click on this new and you can start again this uh, blank workbook. Otherwise, you can start from the template. And here we have group of templates, and you can click on this business and you can download the uh, different kinds of templates under this business group for example this blue invoice and sample invoices and other budgets and as well you can click on the back button and you can go to this uh, next group personal and here we have uh, another set of templates for example this personal monthly budget and other templates and you can click on this any of this template and you can start your work then you can save enough time by using these templates because the templates are the half boiled workbooks. You click on this back button again. So here we have the search bar. I can click on the search bar and I can type, uh, for example, a kind of a keyword and I can hit the enter key. I can get related uh, templates. For example, this bill paying checklist and small business cash flow statement, something like that. I click on the back. The next one we have open. Here you can see workbook and folders and you can open a recent workbook that we have access recently here we have uh, today and all the documents and if i need this document in this pinned item i can click on this push pin icon again i can access this document frequently and here we have account i can click on this account you can get to know your account information and here we have feedback and you can send a couple of feedback as well and here we have option and here once you click this option and you will get this actual option dialog box and we'll be discussing this Excel option dialog box in this lecture and upcoming lecture as well. I'm going to close this one and we'll click on the backstage view again. I'm going to click on this new and I'm going to create this blank workbook. And here we have the typical interface of Microsoft Excel 2019. I'm going to use my control key and scroll up to zoom in and it is zoomed in 400 percentage. And here we have the zoom slider and you can use this slider as well you can drag this slider to the left side to zoom out and you can drag this slider to the right side to zoom in and also you can use this percentage as well 
and you can click on this one and you can call this zoom dialog box and you can set the percentage otherwise you can type the percentage here example if i need a 400 percentage i can type here and i can click on the ok button to make it 400 percentage and here we have views here we have different views and here we have the normal view the default one and here we have page layout view and here we have page break view. we'll be discussing these views in our upcoming lectures and here we have the status bar we call this is the status bar that is available in the bottom and in the top of the application we have the title bar the title bar you can notice here we have book one why we have book one in microsoft excel 2019 we used to call workbook but in microsoft word 2019 we used to call document document will have pages like that the workbook will have sheet where you can see the sheet here we have sheet the sheets is collection of number of rectangles called as cells we will discuss these cells and these columns and cells in our upcoming lectures here you can see the couple of controls the collection of control called as group here we have group here you can see font group alignment group number groups like that we have groups collection of group called as tips here we have form tab and insert tab page layout tab like that we have number of tips collection of tips called as ribbon you can manage this ribbon how you can manage this ribbon and here we have the ribbon display option you can click on this ribbon display option and you can manage three commands here the first one is auto hide ribbon if you don't want this ribbon all the times or if you need a, a more room to work with that in a screen we can temporarily hide this ribbon to do that you can click on this ribbon display option you can click on this first command auto hide ribbon you can click here and the ribbon is hidden and if you need this ribbon you can go to the top of the application you can click here and you can call the ribbon and if you click any part of the area on these cells and you can hide this ribbon now let's go to the ribbon display option again and here we have the second command show tips in this show tips you can view only the tips not the groups and controls here you can see the tips and you can work here if you need a control you can click on the a specific uh, tab and you can call the groups and controls like this and if you don't want these controls and groups and you can click any part of the area then that will be disappeared we'll go to the ribbon display option again we'll click on the third command here we have show tabs and commands show ribbon steps and commands all the time so we'll click here and make it visible all the time these tabs and ribbon and here we have close button and here we have a restore down or maximize button and here we have the minimize button and here we have ribbon display option that we have discussed earlier and here we have my user name shiraj mohammed i can click here and i can access my account information and here we have the title bar and the left top corner we have quick access toolbar we can have a couple of controls on this quick access toolbar no matter which tab is selected we can see this quick access toolbar all the time that's what we call quick access toolbar you can access kind of controls in a very quick time so you can have these controls in this quick access toolbar you can click here and you can check in these controls for example if i need more workbook again and again i can have these new controls or if i need to have this uh, spelling checking all the times i can have this spelling checking here or else if i need a control that is not available here you can go to this more commands and you can call excel option dialog box and you can here you can see the popular commands and here you can see kind of a group of commands for example if i need a control available from the home tab i can click here and i can access controls which is available in home tab here i'm going to click this combo and I'm going to click on this popular commands i'm going to have a control format painter for example if i need this format painter again and again i can have this format painter control in this quick access toolbar to add this control to the quick access toolbar i can click on this add button first i have to select this one and then i can click on this add button then i can click ok to have that control to this quick access toolbar here we have the tell me feature if you face any difficulties in finding a control you can search the control here for example if i need a data validation i can type data validation and you can call the data validation dialog box here we have the name box if i click any of the cells in this worksheet i can get to know the cell address of this particular cell here we have a1 if i click on this b2 i can get to know this b2 we'll be discussing this a1 and b2 deeply in our upcoming lectures
here we have a uh, formula bar if i need to edit or if i need to add kind of uh, a data on the cells i can use this formula bar and also if i need to manage formulas and functions i can use this formula bar in microsoft excel workbook we can see columns and rows the columns are indicated as letters a b and c like that the rows are indicated as numbers one two three like that here you can see sheet one by default microsoft excel 2019 you will have one sheet so if you need more sheets you can create new sheets here we'll be discussing that part also in our upcoming lectures here we have vertical scroll bar and here we have horizontal scroll bar now we'll go to the backstage view if you want to access the backstage view you can go to this file and you can access the backstage view and here we have home and here we have new if you want to create a, a new workbook you can come to this one and, and if you want to open an existing workbook we can come here and here we have info if you want to get to know the details of the workbook you can come to this point and we'll be discussing this one in our coming lecture as well and here we have save if you want to save this workbook you can come here here we have save us for duplicating this workbook or saving this workbook in a different locations or different file name and here we have print and that is for the hard copies and here we have a share export publish we'll be discussing this in our upcoming lectures and here we have here we have close button if we want to close this workbook we can click here and we'll get the message and save your changes to this file and if you don't want to save this one you can click this don't save otherwise if you want to save this document we can click on this save we'll be discussing these in our upcoming lectures for the time being we will close this document i don't want to save any of the changes so i'm going to click on this don't save so these are the topics under this lesson number one of microsoft excel 2019 training if you have any queries on this lesson number one you can comment in the comment box thank you very much guys we'll meet in the next video bye